is in this <coughs> building eight. Uh, currently, we're in this building uh, that you see here, and obviously the uh, Pear Tree uh, Resort is outlined well. Uh, our clinic, uh, medically, we hope to do general medicine, uh, especially medical treatments uh, that are boutique type things and uh, that can be done in an office situation. Uh, we also want to include alternative medicine, uh, regenerative medicine and biocellular treatments, uh, physical therapy uh, and rehabilitation and uh, products for splinting and uh, slings and ankle braces and things like that uh, for injuries that we treat in the, in the clinic. And then uh, the subcategory of biologics, which is uh, a, a related somewhat to biocellular medicine, but uh, will, I think will be expanded over time uh, into uh, the mainstream of medicine. This is the front, frontal view of, uh, of our clinic. This is the view from the patient entrance door of our clinic looking out on the marina. And this is the, the uh, waiting room, and we hope to have it not be a waiting room, but a pass-through room. Uh, the front reception area, uh, and we also have a, a laboratory, which will include general medicine uh, evaluations in addition to uh, biocellular preparation uh, for stem cell treatments and biocellular treatments. This is the business part of the uh, laboratory which is in a more sterile area uh, with uh, some of the equipment that we will use for our uh, biocellular preparation. Uh, event hood. And uh, uh, that's uh, Bob Alexander's boat uh, that he, he parked uh, adjacent to the, uh, uh, the resort. Uh, and Bob, Bob has a great sense of humor. He knows I'm laughing with him and not making fun of him. But uh, the issue is, one of the important things that we hope to connect with is tourism because the island this past year saw approximately a million tourists that came on cruise ships. And this year with all the, uh, I'm not sure if it's because specifically from Jose Samara's efforts to communicate with the cruise lines and with John Edwards, uh, diligence in doing the same, that they are, are seeing a greater potential here. And so the number of tourists on cruise ships is estimated to increase to uh, 2 million uh, this year. And we think that we have a, a potential to market uh, our clinic and our biocellular treatments to at least 2 million uh, people. Also, we have airlines that support the island, and the cruise ships and airlines together have a, a need for a, a quality hospital uh, for the tourists that they bring into the island. And we think that, uh, again, the publicity that, uh, uh, not, the pub, not going out in the newspaper, but the information that's been passed to the uh, people of the airlines and also the cruise ships is Make, giving them an increased sense of confidence in the medical care of the island. Also uh, in, involving in tourism is the scuba and the snorkeling issues. And, and we also, uh, Royton is lucky and, and uh, we are lucky to be here because of the large reef system that's here, uh, which uh, uh, allows us uh, such a, a wonderful opportunity to participate in either scuba or snorkeling, and also provides a lot of the uh, economics for the island in terms of fishing. The additional partners that we have in, in this alliance are, are uh, Global Med Logistics and uh, WebOps, which is a tracking, a software tracking system. And this has been used extensively in the States for implant tracking, and they've adapted their program. Uh, Gordon Ford is here with Alpine representing those two companies and they have a, a system for tracking biologic uh, tissue and through that we can actually send tissue from the United States to our lab in, in Roatan with a uh, specialized uh, container to keep the cells and the tissue viable 
and this is the uh, pictures of that, uh, that entity, which Gordon has and Al have named R2 into, because it, uh, it has a central canister that you see uh, down here, down in this uh, area, and there's a specialized uh, sponge system that can, can hold uh, liquid nitrogen in the sponge. So you can fill the container with liquid nitrogen, it absorbs into the sponge and pour off the excess. And then uh, there's a double lined uh, box system that has a thermocouple and a GPS tracking device so that this thing, this box, once the tissue is placed into a little sock system and then placed into the container, uh, the tissue can be maintained at a minus 80 degree temperature and transported safely and the tracking system will, the GPS tracking system will track it. Uh, I guess that's redundant. And the uh, thermocouple will, main, will reassure that the temperature has been maintained in a safe uh, uh, level. And uh, the WebOps software program will <coughs> Uh, have a spe specific code on the specimen to make sure that the, uh, the chain of custody of the tissue is maintained in the relationship to the patient so that it's, it, it's uh, safe and clearly a, an autologous and uh, uh, tissue that belongs specifically to that patient. And then Regent uh, Surgical Health uh, has 26 surgery centers across the country. They've been very instrumental in participating with uh, attempting to help evolve a, uh, a financial pro forma of both the clinic and the hospital and also of uh, participating in a, uh, a reality testing uh, mode to uh, temper my enthusiasm to a more realistic uh, pr perspective. Uh, I think that's fair. Um, and they've, they've been, they have committed resources, personal resources uh, from their company and they've, they've been outstanding in the evolution of the, to the point that we are at this time. And then Hospital Semesa is the star of the program. Uh, Hospital Semesa is the reason that we're able to do this in Honduras. Uh, they have provided uh, all of the guidance, the uh, credentialing, all of the necessary uh, quality control suggestions and their, uh, their insight into how to move forward in, in a, a, an environment and a, a culture that is not uh, specifically our own has been wonderful. And the, the synergy that has been created from the, the uh, connection of uh, uh, that we've had with Hospital Semesa has been extraordinary and we're most appreciative of, of that. Now the hospital is going to offer a full complement of medical care, a diagnostic center. They'll have subspecialty care in, um, in orthopedics, uh, cardiovascular, general surgery, gynecology and pediatrics. And uh, Dr. Samara will give an overview of the hospital that's much more thorough than the one I can give in just a a few seconds. We also hope to have a foundation which we have discussed but haven't formed yet and we want our foundation to participate in educational um, adventures uh, both at the college level and you'll hear more about that later and also uh, we have talked to the representative of a uh, athletic type program similar to the IMG program in the United States and also the uh, Club Med Academy program that already has established sports excellent sports performance and excellence centers across the uh, world and we're interested in trying to provide an environment that could attract them. We also educationally would like to be involved in job training for the specific things that we're doing so that in medicine in biocellular treatments and uh, uh, also train physicians uh, through these uh, alternative uh, approaches to, uh, to medical care. And also in the foundation we hope to, to provide public health initiatives uh, with the implementation of brigades 
uh, on the island. Uh, Dr. Samara will probably mention this later, but he's already utilized brigade, brigades in San Pedro Sula and Samesa Hospital to great advantage for the community. And we hope to do the same here uh, with brigades that he selects. Uh, and then we also look forward to maybe having some private grant funding for patients that are uh, less fortunate economically so we can offer the same quality care to those patients as the patient that can pay fee for service.